So Kim Cooper wanted to study developmental science, and she chose the Jerboa because it's small, it's cute, and it has these crazy springy hind legs. Um, what she wanted to know was how it developed these hind limbs that are both radically different from that of a mouse, but also radically different from its two front legs. Um, now, if you uh, if you were to think of it this way, the bones in our fingers are the same material that are made up of the bones in our legs. So your pinky bone is basically the same stuff that's in your femur. Mm-hmm. So how does each how does each know to grow to be a different size and to grow at a different rate? So this was kind of the question that she started to find as she was researching and uh, studying the jerboa. Mm-hmm. Okay, and anything we can learn? You, you, you compared some of the bones to our fingers. Anything we can learn about us from studying the jerboa? Absolutely. So what we can learn by studying the uh, growth rate of the bones in jerboas is how those bones grow as fast and as large as they do. And if we can un- if we can understand the mechanism behind that, then we can understand we can start to understand how to manipulate that mechanism, which has applications if you are trying to treat uh, bone growth deficiencies in people.